So this is Detroit said what up. We in here with take jokes. I appreciate you coming through, man. Again, like it's love, bro. Like it's always fun to bump back into you. I think the first time we met was on some fashion stuff with mm -hmm. Mark and um, BMB, and uh, I know he's got a couple other things going on too. That's pretty cool, but. We got to work together on a few different projects, so it's always good to bump back into you, man, yeah. and help out with things and whatnot. But yeah, man, go ahead and uh, let people know your name and, you know what I'm saying, how you got into all of this stuff. Yeah, so what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tay Joke. Shit, laugh, but don't choke in on that note. We gonna get into it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a small, you know what I'm saying, TikTok creator. I won't even just say TikTok for real. It's really like social media just in general. I'll be on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I done got few viral videos you know what i'm saying on all those platforms so i feel like i've been doing this shit for a while so that's me for real yeah was it was it like inspired by somebody or did you see other people doing it or like do you have an older brother or sister that was kind of doing something and made you kind of lean into it or was it just spark naturally in, in you something man honestly i feel like it, it's just always been in me like it's just extra personality like i always been like just extra doubt and i feel like <laughs> people used to say i was rude and disrespectful but i feel like that like not having no um you know what i'm saying any guidance that that wow like personality just yeah tapped into who i am today you know what i'm saying and that's really about it for real but Kinda. i ain't i feel like um what really got me into it though is like disney channel i ain't gonna hold you like disney like i know i wanted to be a part of disney and act and do all that shit but like it was it's hard it's like a competition and when you ain't got no money you know what i'm saying you gotta right. you gotta create your own shit so that's all i've been doing is just doing my own thing and just trying to make it out that way yeah so so you said um stuff like, like the few things you touched on and do you think uh some of that stuff is things like people misunderstand about you yeah definitely misunderstood like you know what i'm saying you see social media you you get all these videos you know what i'm saying like you you say what you want to say you feel how you want to feel like social media is like low-key your your um own personal diary and shit yeah. but like you just putting a piece of you out there you you decide what part of you you want to put on social media but they don't really know the real the real history the real background and where you came from and how you really is and behind the cameras yeah 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 so what what's some of the stuff that you're learning from like all these experiences Man, it's just like you gotta get, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like with the, with the negative comments, like, <clears throat> or not even just the negative comments, comments in general, you gotta know how to take some comments and, and take in what you can and spit out, you know what they say, like eat the chicken and spit out the bones yeah. type of shit. Like, okay, um, okay. just getting used to hearing people talk shit. Yeah, kind of having thick skin and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I, I think that's part of the industry in general. Like, no matter what, I think everybody gets a little bit of it. Yeah. I, I think it's just at a, you know, with with being, uh, you are an entertainer and things like that, it kind of comes with the territory too a little bit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So what do, you, what do you think some of the, like, best compliments that you've gotten are? Uh, <clears throat> honestly, the best compliments is, like, you inspire me, like, um, like when people like going through something, I get a little cute little DM saying like, oh, I've been going through this and I just come to your page and you make me laugh. Like, yeah. I, I like hearing people say like, keep going. Like outside of me really want to do this shit in real life, like to to know that people really fucking with and it's important it like, yeah. and want me to keep going makes it better, worthwhile. Yeah, do you find uh, like making like entertaining videos um, or like funny videos is more like your thing or is it more you do everything or? Honestly, like right now, it's just I would say it's just entertainment, just trying to put myself out there, throwing myself out there. Um, yeah. But as far as like really taking my career serious, I definitely want to dab into like um, movies and TV shows, sitcoms. Uh, yeah, it's just all types. Dope for that stuff. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I can see you doing that stuff. So what, like, what does a morning routine look like for Tay Jokes? Man, <laughs> morning routine for Tay Jokes. I wake up. I'm scrolling. I'm gonna check my notifications. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go make me some iced coffee. Uh, I got the roll bone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm smoking a blunt. I ain't gonna hold you. I got a little blunt rolled up. Uh, shit. And then if I'm during school, I got school. And then normally I make a TikTok during it. You know what I'm saying? When the sun come up. Yeah. So like that's really about it. Simple shit. So is that does like your creativity just like spark as it, as the day goes on, or is it something that's planned out, or like? Man, that's a good question. Cause everybody like. They be trying to figure out like where they get the ideas from, and yeah. honestly, like it just comes to you. And I feel like the Virgo in me, when I got an idea, like I'll be laying down in the bed about to go to sleep, 
an idea come to my head, the brightest idea, I just write that shit down and work on that shit the next day. Or I'll be on FaceTime with my friends and shit, and we'll come up with some funny shit or whatever over the phone. I'll be like, what this sound like? What this look like? So, like, it's just really it's all about, like, thinking about some shit and applying it to, you know what I'm saying, the video or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also uh, having some feedback from some people and stuff. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a pretty cool thing, man, yeah. where you can kind of let it run by people and mm -hmm. hear their thoughts on it and stuff. What, um... What was like some of your favorite stuff like to do in school, like your favorite subjects and stuff when you was in school? My favorite subject? Uh, <laughs> I didn't really have a favorite subject, but like, school, wasn't, school wasn't your bag. No, nah, I'm not going to hold you. I love school. Niggas used to cry to get to school. Like, yeah. mama, please take me to school. Couldn't stay to fucking school to save my life, though. Like, I would <laughs> stay suspended, stayed in the dean's office, stayed in the office. Like, it was but, like all the people that was at the school was why you wanted yeah, to be there, I was but like, not the school. Dead ass. Any school I went to, niggas was popular. Like, everybody knew me. So, like, I don't know. I love school. <laughs> yeah, so that kind of probably led into some of this stuff, too, right? Being outgoing mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. So what what do you think was like one or, or some of the videos that really started like changing things for you? Because I know it all starts off with one, just making one video at first, you know what I'm saying? It, was it the first one that just went crazy or did it build into something? Oh, TikTok in general, just how it started. Yeah, off. just how it started in general. Well, honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. So I, I've been, I been really been, been doing this shit since like, I would say like, seventh eighth grade oh, ninth, okay. ninth grade like yeah because you i mean obviously you talented at all of this stuff man mm -hmm. so the experience is there for Appreciate sure it. thank you thank you um yeah so like i've just been doing it since like i said seventh eighth grade um just making my own little videos on my on my phone regardless of what kind of phone i had a video was just getting made uh and then my first viral my first real viral video um i was singing doing some dumb shit niggas don't even know how to sing I got like what like ten some million. I mean one point two three million views on Facebook. La uh, singing some shit. Don't even know how to sing or whatever. But TikTok, as far as TikTok, honestly, what really got me into that shit is that uh, that app called Monkey. For real, I don't know if you know what Monkey is. Nah, I never heard of it. Man, every time I got on that app, it's like an app where you like you talk to uh, different people all over the world for like seven seconds, and if you want to talk to them some more, you add more time. And oh, they get, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Every time I got on that app, I swear to God, somebody would be like, hey, is that you from TikTok? You on TikTok? And I did not have a TikTok. So I'm like, let me just make a TikTok. <laughs> oh, and I swear to God, I made a TikTok, bro. My first video, it was some weird, I ain't even gonna hold you with some gay shit or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? A video about basically this girl, her, her, you know what I'm saying? Her, his, her boyfriend, during the, during the pandemic too. Her boyfriend uh, basically found a video of him sucking dick in the phone or whatever, and she crying about it. Video went stupid dumb, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Posted another video, crazy. Another video, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Every time I posted, it was just like, it was going crazy. So on TikTok, it's just where it started. You know? Yeah, so it, it made, like, building the experience and kind of lead, it kind of led up to that. And then mm -hmm. when the fans kind of seen it, it just took off from there. All right. Yeah, that's dope. So if, if you won ten million dollars tomorrow, what would you spend it on? Ten million? A hundred million, whatever it is. Where where what's what's something that's so important <laughs> that's really important to you? I mean obviously all this stuff is important. Man, you know what I'm honestly, I ain't even gonna hold it. But you. like if, if the money just if everything just came all you know what I'm saying, happened tomorrow for you, where do you think uh you know it's going for you? I got so many siblings and family members and motherfuckers that look up to me i just want to make them happy and me happy yeah. and as long as we good then i think about like you know what i'm saying doing extra shit as far as dabbing it to be i ain't even gonna worry about no businesses yet literally just trying to get my family together for a little bit for a year two to three years five years you know what i'm saying that's yeah. 10 million like i'm just trying to make sure we good and then obviously business endorsements and shit like get dive into what i really what i really want to do in real life so yeah then get into the extravagant stuff yeah <clears throat> So what's what is uh some of your biggest pet peeves? Man, intentional liars like what you lying for like <laughs> um another pet peeve uh I don't know. That's some shit I would have to really think about for real. Like, yeah. cause I I'm a Virgo. A lot of shit really like turn me off. Like quick. Like I'm not super hip to the. Uh stars and you know what i'm saying all that i only stuff. know about my sign you oh, have okay. to tell me about yourself I got you, I got you. <laughs> but yeah no like i don't i would have to think about that a lot of shit really do kind of turn me off a little a little bit yeah 
What do you uh, What do you think like the world is gonna look like in like fifty years? Man, technology. I don't, that's all I can think of. It's just nigga. They got. I think I saw a video of a, the first flying car. We didn't see that motherfucker fly though, but that's what they trying to say. So we've been talking about flying cars for the longest, and they finally talking about doing it. So I don't know. I, honestly, I don't even want to think about the future in ten years. Like I'm trying to think about now. Yeah, like <laughs> that's just scary. <laughs> Robots and shit. Yeah, like no. Do you um what what is what's a few movies or, or like books or something that's really stood out to you like in in life? <clears throat> movies, um, honestly, a movie that stood out to me. I mean, it ain't gotta be nothing super serious. Maybe something recent that just you, you liked or something like maybe a series that's you know what I'm saying. You have, you be binging Netflix or anything. Like I mean, that. right now I'm watching Euphoria. I'm, okay, wa I'm watching okay. Euphoria right now. Yeah, and everybody's then, watching. That. Mm -hmm, okay. Crazy shit was in day or whatever. But honestly, <laughs> my favorite, I guess my one of my favorite movies is Don't Judge Me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's Dream Girls. Like that's my shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. So. I like Dream Girls. <laughs> Beyonce too, right? <laughs> Period. Dream Girls, Jennifer Hudson, Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy. Like, what? All the icons. Like, them is my niggas. I, yeah. I mean, not my niggas, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> so, so, back to, like, like the entertainment stuff in your name. Did, did you actually come up with the name Tay Jokes, or is that something that just, like, kind of happened, or? Honestly, yeah. Like, <clears throat> I'm, on, like, I'm. I think about everything at home. I ain't gonna hold you. Like I'm at home, think about how can I brand myself? How can I push myself to for people to take me serious? Cause right. I, everybody like used to take me as literally as a joke, like yeah. literally. And I feel like my name Tay jokes. You know what I'm saying? My name Keontae Tay. Like Tay jokes. It just makes mad sense. And then it's catchy. Like yeah, for it's sure. memorable. Like yeah, man, you definitely mm -hmm. uh, stood out. The name stands out. I think you got a really dope brand. You know what I'm saying? Everything that I've seen and, and see you doing and stuff like that, it's, it's like, it all seems like it, it kind of goes in the same ecosystem. Like, Thank you. So just keep going with it. And a lot of times, I, one thing that stood out to me recently is uh, people talking about like being singular focused and things like that. And a lot of times people will say, yo, you just need to focus on this right here. And for, for a lot of us, that's not how it works out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You got to have different hustles and mm -hmm. different things going on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, always, I just saw something like that. I ain't mean to cut you off, but, like, I definitely just saw something like that. They said, like, try something new every year. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Do something new every year. So I feel like I'm about to do this podcast shit, um, start my business. I ain't never ran no business. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm modeling. Like, I'm just trying to motivate myself to just stay – Pushing myself and do more shit like yeah, do and, and shit. it opens other doors too when you do do other things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Podcasts and stuff leads into you know other opportunities mm -hmm. and modeling leads into other opportunities. Mm -hmm. And as long as you you kind of stay consistent with everything, you know what I'm saying? Like some something will pan out. Right. But I seen um, this interview, and and the dude was kind of saying he's like yeah he's a he made like millions of dollars off of clothes you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying that's how he really got his money you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but he was like five years ago if you asked me you know if, if i would be making money off clothes he's like i never would have believed you because the clothes was just this like side hustle thing you know what i'm saying but right. it turns out that him rapping and doing all these other things none of that panned out but the clothes ended up taking off and changing his life you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so again like it just shows that you know, if you if you kind of have interest in these, all these other things, you know right. what I'm saying? Try to have so like seven time. different incomes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spending too much time on you can't put your eggs. It just goes the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Can't yeah. put your all your eggs in one basket. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for Do sure. Do different shit. Yeah, man. So so before we get up out of here, man, I, I do wanted to touch on like some type of crazy story or something like maybe something that happened in the city or in your life or just anything, man. That's kind of you know what I'm saying. Most of us, I, I'll say, if, if you make it to, like, past 20, 21, something like that, you really got some type of crazy story that really happened in your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess I could talk about my uh, the first time I had some, <laughs> had some pussy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, so. Uh, so, like, it was, like, I think it was, like, 20, 2012, 2000. What, what year was that freshman year? I don't know. We was young as fuck. It was like freshman year, but before freshman year, the summer before, yeah, the summer before freshman year had started or whatever, like, uh, me and my friend David, you know what I'm saying, 
we was New Year's night or whatever. He was like, oh, dude, I got this girl coming over. You know what I'm saying? We about to smoke, we about to drink, and I'm about to fuck her. I'm like, okay, like, that's cool. He was like, you? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. Like, he like, and you fucking her too. Like, you doing it too. I'm like, oh, okay, like, all right. Like, but that was my first time. I didn't want to tell him that was my first time because he didn't know I was, like, gay. Nobody knew I was gay for okay, real. So okay. I'm trying to act straight like I had some pussy before. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. all right, like, that's nothing. Like, all right, man. So <laughs> Most men do that when they're young, by the way, anyways. Like, mm-hmm. when you be around your boys, you like, yeah, like, hell, y'all, I done did this. You know right. What I'm like, it's just a normal definitely thing. Didn't, definitely was an experience. Definitely, definitely was not. So. Sure. She comes over. Mind you, we in an abandoned apartment. Like, abandoned apartment. Cold as fuck, getting high, getting drunk, drinking, <laughs> and it's you know it's just me, her, and him, literally. So like, after we drinking and shit, getting high, we settle down and wind down a little bit. <clears throat> we gets in the bed, and you know what I'm saying we doing our thing or whatever. He go first, you know what I'm saying. He dicking her, <laughs> he <laughs> being her doing these down. <laughs> He, yeah. She getting her bo- de- booty, do- <laughs> she getting her booty, de- <laughs> oh, she getting, you know what I'm saying, she getting knocked down or whatever, I'm sitting on the edge of the bed trying to get hard, looking stupid like a virgin, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and then he got, he got done or whatever, and then that's my turn, I'm doing my thing, boom, 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 but the bitch was loose, I ain't gonna hold you, like, I knew, like, it didn't feel like, I don't know. The bitch, it just felt like I was just slipping in it. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, that was my first time. And I was like, this is not supposed to feel like this. So he got, I got done. Then he went back and she like, oh, I want Tay to do it. I want Tay to do it again. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was that man. I was that, <laughs> <laughs> I was that nigga, but I wasn't. Oh, Cause yeah. I feel like his dick was just bigger than mine. Or whatever. <laughs> no gay shit. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. But That's like, funny as hell. I was just sitting there looking stupid or whatever, but I ended up fucking her. And then the police came, knocked on the door. The police knocked on the door, and she naked, I'm naked, I'm on top of her. And basically, we ain't getting in trouble or nothing. We just basically all looking stupid, getting naked in front of the police. And, yeah. and walked out the bando. Like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, that was it. Hell uh, so. Yeah, that is crazy. What, what, so, is that in Detroit, actually? or No, that was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, Florida. shit, that's crazy. Yeah, on 6 one nigga in an abandoned <laughs> apartment, looking stupid. That's funny, man. <laughs> yeah, man, that is a crazy, wild-ass story. How to, like, my first time, though, like, yeah, and, a, and a, like, we ran a train on this bitch. <sighs> And we get called by the police because we in an abandoned apartment. Like in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that sounds like Tulsa, a Oklahoma, that sounds like a euphoria story. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> literally, it was definitely a euphoria situation for sure. Yeah, that's funny. One more time, man. Let everybody know where they can find you at, man. And you know what I'm saying, where they can subscribe and get it, get in tune with what you got going on. And yeah, like I said, it's your boy Tate Jokes. You laugh, but don't choke. in on that note. Y'all can definitely find me at Take Jokes on social media. You know what I'm saying? TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I don't be on my Twitter like that, though. But, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much about it. All that. Well, I appreciate yeah. you coming out again, man. This is Detroit Set. What up, bro? Definitely appreciate the love and support, man. Anything we can do to help and, and you know, in return, you already know. Tap mm-hmm. in. And we'll catch y'all next time.